This is the Leaning Tower of Manhattan. It's a 60 story tall building that's been abandoned for over five years because it started leaning three inches to the left. It's been involved in over two dozen lawsuits and even a death. But why is it leaning? For that, we need to go back to 2016 to the hit TV show, Million Dollar Listing, and one of its stars, Frederick Hecklin. He wanted to be the exclusive listing agent of one seaport. So he courted the developer, Fortis Property Group, who bought this property in 2013 for $64 million. They saw they had an opportunity to make upward of $300 million on this property. So Frederick opened up his phone book to reach out to all his top clients so they can start pre-buying the apartments. But why is New York City such a great place to build 100-story buildings? Well, it's because a big pile of schists, which is under the bedrock, which can be used to anchor down a tall, massive building with pylons. Usually the ideal debt to anchor into bedrock is at least minimum 50 feet. But the problem with this, to reach that bedrock at this specific job site was 155 feet. And the reason why that is is because this really isn't the best site to build on. Back in the day, they did anything to make the island bigger. So they filled in this marsh area at the time with garbage, debris, rocks, anything they could to grow this piece of the island, which is why the bedrock was 155 feet below all of that. What they wanted to do is they wanted to save money. So they saved $6 million by not anchoring steel pylons 155 feet deep into the bedrock. But instead, they did the soil improvement method, which involves injecting the soil with concrete in order to firm up the foundation. And the engineer consultant even wrote a hundred page document saying that it would lead to the leaning of the building. So what the property development group was, they cut a lot of corners. In fact, they had multiple stop orders to stop building at certain points. In fact, it was just violation after violation. And then in September of 2017, on the 29th floor, a construction worker got snagged and pulled off the building and fell to his death. And then it turned into the developer, suing the general contractor, and then a bunch of other lawsuits all piling in where they finally just stopped development, which leads us to today, which is still a 60 story abandoned building sitting in the middle of Manhattan, leaning three inches to the left. If you want to learn more information like this, make sure to subscribe.